felt good. Go out and make pitches. And, uh, yeah, it feels like a while ago, but it was just good to go out and make pitches. And uh, especially with, you know, a couple runners on and just continue to execute. You know, still got to do a better job of getting strike one. Felt like I got to get to, you know, 1-1-1-2, one, 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 but want to get into, you know, 0-1-0-2. Oh, oh, you guys as a group, you have a little bit of influence here lately on making sure those innings can be clean early. There have been some couple starts that have been – couple tracks in the first and second start early clean and go from there. Yeah, I mean I have had that a couple a couple, you know, first inning has been a little bit rough, you know. Um oh, we just started, don't worry. <laughs> You're all good. You're all good. I'm not I you guys you guys I could feel the frustration from you guys, so I was just letting you know. No one told us we were all we're all good. We're all good. No, no, no. I didn't say much. Um yeah, no, an emphasis on uh, getting a better start this time out. They had a couple there where the first inning was long and uh, just doing a better emphasis on kind of dominating the first. And, uh, yeah, just trying to, instead of trying to find a feel for the game, just kind of attacking from pitch one. Is starting today meaningful for you date-wise? Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, kind of underlying. Um, you know, it wasn't set up this way on purpose. It just, I just happened to fall on this day, but it definitely... Yeah, I meant a little something. When you say attacking the first day, does that begin in warm-ups? Um, not necessarily. I mean, it's probably one of the worst warm-ups I had, honestly. Like, it was one of those that kind of was like, well, you, you throw those, and you've thrown enough of them where you know, like, deep down, you're like, okay, I know I can go make pitches, but there's always that underlying thought of, I don't really know what's going to happen today or if I'm going to be able to find, like, but you just, you go out and compete. And, uh, but sometimes you you run into a difficulty you kind of maybe um want to like get a feel for the game instead of just a- attacking and you kind of have to attack and then you can you can kind of settle into the game as it goes as opposed to kind of trying to settle in early but you, you so it's just a little adjustment of a uh, mental approach Tommy pulls off there in that first inning yeah no that's a, it, Tommy made a huge play um kids did a good job calling the game I mean all in all you know game took a while but every it was I mean, is probably as clean a game as you could have asked for for ever for everybody through seven innings there. Tommy with uh, you know big play in the beginning, guys trying a couple double plays there. Goran made a huge play. Uh, you know he put a good swing on a ball. Goldie did too. Um, you know they grinded out a good. You know guys got good stuff on their side. So um, you know and then when they give you a lead, you want to go out and you get the ability to fill up the zone a little bit more and just attack. And uh, that was kind of the, the approach there. Once once we got a lead, they put up the five, and it was like, okay, you want to go put down a sh- put up a shutdown, but you you know it's make it quick and fill up the zone. It's something that um, I didn't do a good job of earlier this year, and started to do a better job at. Since you've been a Cardinal, the Cardinals have always been a second half team. Ali said he, the group feels like you have a run in you. Do you kind of feel that you know among the among the, the clubhouse that you put a run together? I mean, when you play games like this, you uh, you just you feel like yeah, you, you want to. It's always like okay, like you know, that's that's the way. That's what we can do. We know we know we have that, and it's just about you know putting a couple of good games together here. When you have a bad one, then you just pick up with the next one. Um, so you know, we got we got all the guys that, that we could possibly ask for in there, and uh, you know, it's just a good start here. Uh, you know, guys put together at bats like they did, and I mean, I've seen them put up bats together like that all the time you know facing them in in lives or in uh um you know sim games and whatnot that's that's kind of what you see is, is them and grinding guys out and so uh it, it's just a matter of guys continuing to pick each other up one after the other whether it's an at bat somebody doesn't get it done then the next guy gets it done or as a pitcher um you know from one start to the next or you know one arm to the next you guys have talked a lot about kind of putting losses out of memory quickly. Do you do that for wins as well, or do you want to kind of reflect on how that game went and carry that into the next one? I think with everything, you take take the good and the bad and learn from both. You know, what did we do well? What did we not do well? And there's there's elements of that in both winning and losing. You know, when you lose, there's still some things that probably went well that you can uh, you can build off of, and there's some things that probably didn't go well that you can, you know, there's still stuff to learn from. you got to be able to learn in winning and in losing. I got you, Katie. This is the 81st game for the Cardinals. Obviously not a great first half. But one thing that you guys have in comparison to other teams is the division is still relatively open. How much is this team looking at what the rest of the division is doing and how much does that propel a potential second half run? 
Um, I think it's more you got to you got to play your own game. You can't you can look at it and you know it's there, but if you don't take care of your own business on the field, the rest of it doesn't matter. So for us, it's it's one game at a time and staying focused right here on what's present and what's in front of us and uh, each and every game that we have coming up and you know knowing that every game is important and you know it's you got to go out and, and grind for every win no matter what it you know no matter what it takes so a little bit less of looking out at everybody else and just a lot more on handling our business. Yeah, sorry. This was asked before we walked in. Um, but just having, having that start from London pushed back, which obviously was a bit of discomfort, um, did that allow you, that extra time allow you to kind of work on things or just kind of... Uh um, yeah, yeah. Between starts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, allowed me to, to clean some things up, clear some things up, and uh, you know, mentally focus and just understand, you know, also feel a little bit better physically. So, you know, I was able to take those things we worked on during the week and uh, um, go out and execute today. And was able to do that. Kids did a good job. Kind of had, you know, multiple pitches working there, and uh, yeah, just a better job from the start. You know, Tommy made a big play to you know get out of that first.